Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. I'm going to jump in and play as Jobby Job Job. Good old Jerb. He's just a regular old guy. I just felt like playing as him. He's kind of chill. He's kind of normal. He just cry a lot. Cry a lot more than most. Um, I have just come off the back of finishing the last episode of the HBO Last of Us series. And god damn. Tis good. Tis good. Definitely, maybe could have been done to have been like an episode longer because there's only nine episodes for some reason. Um, but still, honestly, really, really good. Um, the they took they, they did a very good mix between using the source material and making it their own. Um, I feel like they, they sort of kept the things they needed to and changed the things and like the things that they changed were fine that they changed sort of thing. I think it's I think they found a really good balance. Um, I was really not sure like. If it was just going to be a sort of a shot-for-shot -shot remake of the game sort of thing, or if they're going to do their own thing, or if it was going to be too far away from what the game was. But honestly, I think they did a really good job between sort of choosing between... Oh, I kind of wish I'd have saved my fire rate for here now, because this is a very, very frustrating room. Oh, despise these goddamn rooms, where it's like, hey, they're just going to have to fight for like three minutes straight. Goddamn, it's annoying as hell. But yeah, I think they found a really good balance. Um, what's what's sort of been your uh, your favourite viewing recently? What's what's something that's been sort of capturing you a little bit? It'd be interesting to know whether it be new or old. If it's just something, but something that is a new show to you at least. What's something that you're watching for the first time at the moment? And uh, what do you rate it? What's your rating so far? How how invested are you? Is it something that you're just starting out and just trying, or is it something that you're already quite invested into a few seasons deep maybe it's always interesting to hear what people are watching at the moment i think just because it has like such potential for variety of answers it's, it's, i've said it before how i really like asking questions of the day that have like a potential wide variety of answers um just to make it more interesting on my behalf for reading and also i'd be interested to hear as well with the question of the day how many of you out there are like reading other people's how many of you out there are like interested in what other people have to say I, actually i've just had a bit of an idea here um this is a little bit risky but i'm gonna i'm gonna play the game oh it didn't work god damn it it didn't work i was trying to get this guy to explode over here and utilize this but couldn't make it happen couldn't make it happen Ooh, inner eye nice um i will say one thing that that really sucks right now is i've like twinged my back or something i don't know like really what i did i slept on the sofa on saturday um and since then it's been really bad so i'm just assuming it's from that from like sleeping at a funny angle sort of thing but oh my god my, my like the right hand side of my back has just been like ripped to shit it's just it's just just pain just pain decent stuff there Having the fire rate book with a uh, triple shot here is honestly so damn nice. And honestly, I'm not too displeased with a with a cube of meat. Honestly, it's not so bad. And this the fact that we're getting a soul heart guaranteed because this guy's an elite is uh, is a champion. Should I say not an elite, but it's really really nice. I have taken some really really bad damage to this floor, so we're a bit lower on health than we should be considering. Finding two tinted rocks, but it's not all bad. Um, I'm going to go in a regular path here. We have unlocked the ability to go to the chest now. We've beaten Isaac enough times, so we could go and do that if we wanted to. Or we could try to unlock a tinted character or something. Get another orbital here. Good stuff. Yeah, I'm liking the fire out with triple shot. Normally, inner eye is kind of one of those things that... It's a little bit questionable whether you want it or not, just because of that lowered, uh, lowered damage out potential damage output. But with a fire rate like this, I think it's actually completely fine. Actually, completely fine. I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of my orbitals, but I will attempt to use them when plausible. Use this here as well. Yeah, that was a good usage of it there, wasn't it? Got a few extra ticks. Probably gonna do another mini recordathon here and uh, record a few backlogs because I've got um, increase the chance for tainted treasure rooms. Ooh, yes, please. Um, yeah, uh, I've got a, uh, I've got family coming over. Well, uh, my girlfriend's mum and dad, so it's still family. 
uh, coming over for Mother's Day, so I'm not going to be, like, available to record all weekend. It's also the Diablo 4 beta, and Diablo 3 is one of my favourite games of all time, and Diablo 4 beta on the weekend, and I'm not going to get to play literally any of it. It's it, it's saddening, but it's also fine, because there is another beta, like, the next weekend, I think. But uh, I'm still like, oh, really? <laughs> Did it have to be that day? Um, but at the same time, I'll probably get to spend some good time with uh, my girlfriend and her family and go out and get some nice food and stuff, so it's not a total loss. Um, I'm still I'm still excited for it anyways, regardless. It's just, yeah, I, I, I like noticed the other day what day it was on. I'm like, oh, because it, it's on Friday until Sunday and they're over Friday till Sunday. So it's like I'm missing out on like the whole thing. Um, I don't really know what items um, are tainted treasurable. But I hope that we get one soon that works for it. Because obviously it's not going to spawn a tainted treasure room without an item that works with it. So let's hope we can get a few that work well with it. Honestly, this triple shot business here is quite lovely. Uh, I, I'm, I'm partial to a devil deal right now. We will take this. I like this guy. Early game, this guy is pretty awesome. He does some really, really good damage. Oh, God. My back, yeah. I just twinged it or something. And just, like, basically... From my, like, lower right side of my back all the way, sort of, up to near my shoulder. It just hurts. Uh, it's, it's only been a few days, so I'm not, like, particularly worried right now. But if it doesn't go away soon, I am going to get it checked out. Because it's it's not particularly nice. Um, and I've not really had to deal, deal... I've not really had to deal with back issues before. I know it's something that a lot of people, especially anyone that's... Uh, in a job that, that involves a lot of manual labor. It's something that you guys go through potentially quite a lot, and I'm probably fairly privileged in the fact that I sit on my ass all day and don't have to really deal with back problems for the most part. But normally sitting on your ass all day is technically what leads to back problems in older age, so who's the real winner, I guess? Um, hopefully it's, it doesn't end up being too bad. I'm hoping it just kind of wears off after a few days. I did go to a gym today as well, which was probably a mistake. Um, but at the same time, I'm in like a really sort of good routine of going to the gym and I have lost a tremendous amount of weight so far and I really don't want to stop. Um, I say tremendous, it's not crazy, but I'm, I'm really happy with myself. I have lost a stone, just over a stone and a half in two months, which I can't remember how many kg that is. Let's find out, shall we? To the Google mobile. Um... One stone, seven, and two kg. Hello. Okay, apologies. Catherine just came in to let me know that we're probably going for Italian on the weekend, which is quite nice. Uh, but yeah, I, I lost, uh, I've lost like 10, pretty much 10 kg at the minute, which is pretty damn good for two months. I've been dieting like a motherfucker and going to the gym every day. Just, just, just doing cardio, just go and do like a... A run or a long walk and i've been going out and doing runs every now and again as well um and it's, it's, yeah it's been going well i've been i've been enjoying it a lot and i definitely feel better um in myself for, just for not being as fat <laughs> um i am one of the very few oh my god really come on with the fly items uh one of the very few people that has probably stuck to their uh news resolution at this point <laughs> i know it's a rarity for most but i'm making it I'm making it happen. Okay. Jumper cables is actually something that I'm probably pretty partial to. So let's see if we can get a penny out of this guy. There you go. I said jumper cable seems like it could be pretty darn good with this book. Because um, we can just use it more often. Um, especially with it only being a three room charge. And it's it gives us quite a lot of power really. So I want to be using it as much as I can in rooms where it makes sense. Oh bugger, I got caught there. We're taking a lot of really dumb damage, to be honest. It's it's mostly fine. This is a room I should have just used it on, but I'm now too... It, that guy shot over a rock. Come on now. I'm now too late into the room to, to, to use it. But yeah, that guy definitely shot over that rock, right? Everyone saw that bullshit, didn't they? Let's just use it in this room and then see how we go. But definitely rooms with more enemies we want to use it in. For the one, we kill the enemies faster, but for two... um. Okay, I probably should have tried to use the troll bomb there to open this. Midas touch is fine by me. Um, but yeah, like, we'll get more jumper cable procs as well as it being better for just killing a lot more enemies. Yeah, we look pretty pretty swaggy 
with um, Midas Touch here. I like that. God, I'm just taking so much unnecessary damage. It's kind of, I don't know why, but it's kind of just always what happens when I'm playing as Job. I always seem to just take a bunch of damage. Balls of steel. A gamble that paid off so nicely for me there. Very happy with that. Okay, my snake boy. I wish the snake dude would just, like, focus on one enemy. He always changes targets, but I suppose it weakens everything up, so it's not a, a big annoyance. But also, jumper cables could mean we can use multiple times per boss fight. In some situations. Like Hush and the like. Right, there you go. Fortunately, not what we're looking for. Random heart could be a soul heart or a black heart. There you go. Um, and ooh, this is this is tricky because I very much like that as an item. But that's quite a lot of my health, and I'm getting hit quite a lot right now. But personally, I think it's something I should go for. But I'm gonna do it. Right, down we go. Even if it's a bit risky, I like the idea of it. Um. We're doing well on time so far. But yeah, let's let's try and use our book a lot more often here. But yeah, with triple shot, we should be firing these off quite a lot. Minus one luck, obviously, is not great for this in general. It's a pretty good trinket there. But I'm going to stick with the one I've got now because I'm just hoping that we get something that can be treasured fairly soon. Um, I don't think we have anything yet. Maybe Midas Touch has one, but I don't think so. Not a fan of that. Thank God that sort of cleared itself up. Ooh. Now this is interesting. We can pay for some invincibility. I kind of like that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to gamble on this and try and get a payout here. Damn it. Unfortunately not. Accidentally took damage there. Sadly, didn't really get much out of that in the end, but we did actually manage to uh, actually do some stuff there. But we'll play this guy as well. Oh, hello. Small contraband. Better to hold on to this. I heard a shady guy next door is looking for it. Ooh, that's new. A small contraband. Haven't seen that before. Intriguing, most certainly. I like that a lot. Thank you. We're going to grab that penny because we're very close to a shop item. And we're very close to the shop also, apparently. I see you there. Probably should have played this room a little differently. But it's okay. We got the health regardless. And, eh. Not that interested in that. Right, back up this way we go. Pretty cool idea for a for an arcade room there. That was that was pretty fun. Unfortunately, didn't get the blood bag I was hoping for, but still cool concept. It, it basically, the, the with it costing seven, it costs just a little bit more than you're typically gonna get in terms of money. You can normally get about four or five cent from it from one player. So it, it's kind of like the value proposition there is. O like, otherwise not great, but you're getting closer and closer to the actual payout of the machine, which is pretty worthwhile, with it, especially in regard to getting a blood bag. Um, maybe the IV bag, not so much, but a blood bag. Definitely getting closer and closer to that is pretty nice, so I like the idea behind that. That's a cool room. That's a cool damn room. Yes, I'm definitely liking having jumper cables here. I'm also thinking there's a secret room here. Damn it. Unlucky Chucky. And I'm very glad I bought the uh, occult eye. Whatever it's called. The, the ocular rift, sorry. It's it's proving to be very worthwhile. Whoa. 
He's a new bounty mushrooms. I also was not expecting that for some reason. He's a new bounty mushrooms. Wow. We are Beelzebub at least. Uh, but <laughs> just so many fly based items. It's kind of crazy. Ooh. This item is nutty good for us right now. Uh, basically, every time we hit an enemy, it lowers the time until we can fire our next shot. Which is kind of ludicrous when you've got really low fire rate. It increases our fire rate by an absolute crap ton, <laughs> as you can see. Which means our active isn't as worthwhile anymore, I'll be honest, but it's fine. Huge growth is really good, but I want to see what the small contract gets us. I'm guess guessing it's just going to be one item rather than the typical two or three you normally get. But look at that. Look at that. What an absurdly good item. What an absurdly, absurdly good item. But yeah, Beelzebub having flight here. Pretty nice. It's kind of rare you get Beelzebub in this game. Here he is. Yeah, so just one item this time. You get Scatter Bombs. Scatter Bombs ain't that good, to be honest, but... We've got Rumbria yeah, with Beelzebub. We are going to get uh, all our fly buddies here. Oh, come on. Why is there an occult thing there? God damn it. Probably shouldn't have uh, have opened that with only one key, but we got a key out of it, so it's fine. We also got an air walls here, which I'm happy about. The trinket we got there, more reflected items. I actually really like that idea, but with our current health and the fact that I'd like to get a tainted treasure, I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna say no for now. All cleaned up. And yeah, yeah, we've got an air walls here that we can utilize somewhere to do a thing. I'm not quite sure where that would be right now. Let me have a little look see. I think this is one. Yeah, good, good. Rosary. Rather nice. We do have to take damage to get to it, but I can manage that. Rosary for the fire rate increase, but also quite a lot of extra HP. Of course, it does mean we'll probably come across the Bible at some point. Um, but, eh, that's not so bad. God damn, yeah, the fire rate boost that the Eve's Nail Polish gives is just nutty good. As long as you're hitting an enemy, your fire rate is just obscenely good. Dire chest here. Probably don't want to mess around with the dire chest, to be honest. They are a little bit of a gambit, and uh, it's one that we don't really need to take. And we're already firing fast. Yeah, maybe our active still is good. I don't know. We'll try and use it in this next big room here. I've kind of been saving it for that. Oh yeah, it still makes a difference. We're still definitely firing faster overall. Even with the Eve's nail polish stuff going on. There was an enemy hovering around somewhere there. I never saw where they were, but they died eventually, so it's it's all fine. Good. Reflected card. We don't have the reflected trinket, do we? No. Good, good. I thought I maybe, maybe accidentally picked it up or something. But that's just a random reflected. Hey, and then all of these are friendly to me. Monstro's Lung. Okay. Now, Monstro's Lung, for Eve's Mascara, I don't think it's that good. But overall, I really like it, so I'm just going to take it. For Eve's uh, Nail Polish, sorry. I think with Eve's Nail Polish, it's actually probably pretty bad. But I, as an item in general, I really like it. So, I'm going to go for it anyways. Probably an overall pretty big DPS down, to be honest. But triple shot on this is just a lot of fun. Uh, we'll definitely take that for a random HP up or damage up. Oh, tears up at least. It's fine. Shot speed up is also good with um, Monstro's Lung, I think. I think with shot speed is increased range, essentially, yeah.
Nice, nice, nice. Hey, it's good, sir. But yeah, definitely a pretty big DPS down overall. But in terms of my enjoyment of the run, an increase of a lot. I really like Monstrous Line. I don't get it enough. Ooh, we had to gulp our trinket here. Nice. Wait one moment. Oh, I am back once again. I apologize. Just had a rather big scare. Um, <laughs> in just that my Calvin kind of came in and was like, hey... There is no money in my account, and there should be. So we had to figure out where the hell it was. But luckily, it's all sorted now. Don't worry about it. I say don't worry about it like any of you would actually worry. I'm sure none of you care. <laughs> that would be... It'd be kind of strange if you did. But I will allow you to, if you'd like to. But you don't have to, because, again, it would be kind of strange if you did. But I'm not going to judge you if you do. Dude, that guy just hit me a thousand miles an hour. Calm down, box boys and shoe boys. This ain't what I signed up for. This ain't my rodeo. But yes, got to prep all these videos for the weekend. But yeah, apparently um, my girlfriend's mum wants to go to an Italian. Um, and we went to one for... Um, what? <laughs> Why did I get so many of Eye of the Occult then? I got four Eye of the Occult. That's so funny. Um, yeah, there was an Italian that, um, that that we went to for my birthday a few years back that was, oh my god, so good, but it was also really expensive. In the UK, like during peak COVID, they were doing this uh, thing to try and keep businesses afloat, which was called like, I can't remember what it was called, Eat Out to Help Out is what it was called, where basically specific like restaurants and eateries and stuff would do like a deal where you could get like 35% off your bill if you ate within this time period to try and promote more people to go out and and eat which in retrospect is a bad idea because obviously it's more people in public and therefore higher chance of spread of covid but also i kind of get it because it was trying to support the businesses that were potentially struggling because of the lack of customers due to covid um and also, we're in, a, we're in a point then where it wasn't that bad in the UK either. Um, Tears with chance base effects game homing. Oh, interesting. I like the idea of that. Um, like the idea of that. Um, oh, we also got a planetarium here. Intriguing. And we get gives a random planetarium on every floor. I can I can take that. Okay, okay, okay. Not too bad here, not too bad. Holy shit, they gain the homing as well. Oh yes, baby. This is a very good setup we've got going on right now. I like it. Ah, 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 fuck. Okay, I like, I like this with all the homing and stuff. This is cool. We're making boss rush here as well, which is nice, which I don't actually know if we need to make. We've actually done a lot of this uh, as this guy. We should probably go and... Uh, should probably go and do the light path now. But if we wanted to, we can do boss rush. We can at least check it out. But let's do the uh, the chest. Also, take a look in here. Well, we had it for a little while. Why not get it back? <laughs> we had a we had a taster. Uh, da -da 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 Naga Viper, chance to shoot green fire which explode on contact. Ooh. Both of these are really, really good. Both the Naga Viper sounds really cool and it's new. Mur my curses is so good. I'm gonna go with the Naga Viper, just because it sounds interesting, and I think explosive fires sound like a lot of fun. Although with a minus one luck, I'm guessing I won't be firing many of them. But we'll find out, I guess. We'll see. Yeah, I the occult should be pretty good for monstrous lung. There's one of the green fires there, look. Hopefully our book does as well here. The good thing is we can pop the book multiple times, so we will get quite a lot out of it. I got hit. Oh no. I think I'll be okay on health here. Probably shouldn't have done boss rush here, but... It's fine. The knockback's rather annoying that we've got going on. Oh yeah, the explosive fire. I like it. I really like this trinket. Trinket's really cool. Also, the chance to fire a, a sh like the, the little mini shots 
Seems to be at a 100% chance with Monstrous Lung, uh, which is rather nice. Oh, not a big fan of that, my good sir. Not a big fan of that at all. I got Invincibility somewhere here? Oh, from the Polaroid, I see. I haven't had the Polaroid unlocked for so long that I kind of forgot that was a thing. Okay, the fire rate we have right now is kind of ludicrous. Holy shit, he zoomed. Just keep firing. Holy shit, we have six fire rate with this setup. This is nutty. Charges in an instant. Ten? Okay, it's multiplicative. The way that it stacks the fire rate is multiplicative, and it's it's getting kind of ludicrous. Game is getting real heckin' laggy, I gotta say. Doesn't like this too much. Look at that, 16 fire rate. I can literally just click spam. Like it's soy milk. From here, Kingpin. Pop your little head up, why don't you? See what's see what's going on up there. Oh, you've you managed to pop out the other side. You little fool. How dare you. Oh my god. How are you still alive, Kingpin? You are the worst boss ever. You wanna pop up somewhere? Oh yeah, good. Everybody hates a kingpin. Oh, up to 22 fire rate, baby. This is something else. This is actually insane. The lag is actually making this take so much longer than it should as well. We got Buck up there, whatever his name is. Sadly, our damage just isn't that good, though. Like, we got this insane fire rate, but unable to kill things very quickly. Like, these guys should be one-shotted, really, by this. Instead, they're just getting knocked around like crazy. Luckily, things are dying reasonably quick regardless, because we can fire so fast. But a pair... A pair barrage damage isn't as good as I would have hoped. Up to 26 fire right now. Ooh, that fire... Not great on my behalf there. I've taken quite a lot of very bad damage thus far. Good, good. Hello, Haunt, my good fella. Yeah, we don't really need luck when we can fire so many shots for our uh, Eye of the Occult and Ocular Rift, should I say, even. Okay, probably a few more waves left still. Like I said, the, the, the waves are going pretty slow at the moment. Now that's the sort of kill I want to see. I'm not sure what's causing more lag, if it's the small tiers or the rifts. Either way, there's a lot of lag. Come on, less waves, please. The knockback is slightly annoying as well. We get like close to an enemy and we just knock it out of the way of all of our other shots. That might actually be why we're dealing less damage than I would have expected. Because they're just not getting the full brunt of it a lot of the time. Which is obviously not great. That noise of just so many rifts layered on top of one another. Quite majestic. 29 fire rate monstrous lung. Do you ever think you'd see the day? Don't teleport away, please. 
Come on, this has to be. Yeah, I was say, this has to be the last one. Another luck-based effect as well there. Good for our trinket. I like it. Right. Sadly, we leave that room and lose 28 fire it, which is just very upsetting to see. Um, but it is what it is. Hey, I like the fact that even the burn fly enemies are uh, swayed to our side. Right. Should be using my book more often here, to be honest. Even though it's not quite giving us 28 fire rate, it's still pretty good what it gives us. Ooh, not a big fan of this room, because for one, we don't need to actually do it. <laughs> It always puts a little bit of an extra bummer on a room when there's literally no reason for you to pass through it and it takes you a bunch of time. Sometimes it just is what it is. Right, hopefully we can pass through this floor reasonably quickly. I'm hoping that we've gone the right way going up. I think we have. Yeah, honestly, we are wrecking enemies with all the, all the creep and herming and everything else that we've got going on here. It's all going quite swimmingly. Unfortunately, the creep doesn't do as much damage as the water herp, though. But I suppose, based on what the item is and like how often it triggers, it kind of makes sense that it's not crazy. But I wanted it to be crazy. Let's get over all the rifts. Damn it! Need more keys. I realise I have left keys unattended on multiple occasions without a home, but eh. I ain't going back for them now. I've committed to my mistakes. Right, good, good, good. Not too bad there. Okay, nice. Right, boss time. Oh, unfortunately... Not a boss I'm a big fan of. This guy can be a little bit random. A little bit unpredictable, but he's not that hard if you've got a lot of damage like I do. Which you can probably say for every boss in the game, but I'll say it especially for this. Some HP there's rather nice because we've been losing it pretty rapidly. And then this shouldn't be too bad for the last floor. Let's just hope we can pick the right way off the bat here. Almost a very bad hit there. Used my book there for seemingly literally zero reason. I honestly couldn't pick out the reason if I tried. We also have Mars this floor, which is fun. Although it does mean we can get to care rooms for free, of which we have extra, so not all bad. Let's go and uh, check out this cash room now, because we can fly in for free, then Mars out for free. Potentially get some more HP, or just some spiders. Yay! It'd be cool if Mars kind of worked like... I, I'd hate it, but it'd be cool if Mars worked like the ponies, where he could dash through rooms and it'd continue the dash into the next room. I'd, I'd both love and hate it. I'm sure it'd get me hurt multiple times and make me cry. But as an idea, as a concept, I like it. It's one of those things where you say it and you're like, yeah, that sounds cool. And then, like, you play it and you're like, this is the worst thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. Oh, I didn't realize there was another one of you still alive. Tell you what, though, the room worked out. Our health is soaring high and we're feeling good. Oh, God, spinny boy. Spinny boy, spinny boy. Oh god, the knockback is just too much, my guys. We don't even really need herming with this amount of rifts. It just automatically drags them to where the rifts are. Mars, why? Why do you have to be like this? Could you just not be? What we got here? Cares pennies can drop. Eh, don't really need that. It's Mars. I mean, we do have Midas's touch, so it did kind of work out there to uh, to freeze you a little bit, but still annoying. Let's 
turn you into gold. On purpose. Using Mars on purpose? How dare I? Who could commit such heinous acts? And we shall be raising it sky high, raising the roof and going up. And actually going to the chest for the first time on episode, what, is this episode 72 or something? Something like that? Just 70 runs before I unlocked the chest, wow. I've been busy doing other things, I guess. I've been playing a good amount of greed mode. I hope you guys have been enjoying the greed runs. Um, I've been liking them. I know that with modded characters, they're kind of pointless. Because all I get is the modded character unlock. I can't make any progression towards uh, a machine, which is really not good at all. Because uh, we really need that machine progression. But, hey ho, it's been fun regardless. And some of the modded characters are clearly built with greed mode in, in mind. Some of them clearly aren't. And it's interesting to see which ones are and which ones aren't. I'll definitely say that. Oh my lord. Come on now, Mars. Again? Really? The ne the second floor in a row we get Mars on our random, en random of any of the planetarium items. We get Mars twice in a row. Exactly what you want to see from this game. Very bad hit there. Oh, the music on this floor. It's like music to my ears. It is music to my ears. It quite literally is. Ow. Very bad hit. Mars, I was just trying to leave the goddamn room. Hey, we found you at least. Just, th honestly... The worst thing about this run that we got going on is just the sheer ridiculousness of how much knockback we deal. If we didn't deal this knockback, we could deal so much extra real damage. Just insane. I mean, 9% chance to get an Eternal Heart on getting hit. It's like, it's one of those things where it's like, it's a, it's a cool concept, but it sounds more like a trinket. Even though it's probably quite powerful in practice. It sounds kind of like a trinket effect. And also, a little bit late in the game for it to be uh, all that useful to us. Also, also, we went the wrong way. Absolutely love the cathedral going the wrong way. Doesn't make all that feel pointless whatsoever. All that damage I took. And yeah, that knockback is just egregious. Check what the crawl space gives us. Unfortunately, not not a lot. Oh, we need keys. Balls. I didn't realize we're so low on keys. I gotta remember going to the chest this time around. Okay, we might be a little low on keys going into the chest here. Oh god, I'm not ready for this at all. These guys don't work the way they used to work. Do I have to unlock this? Not really, technically. Because I could just leave, and I will. There's room where I'm certainly more for leaving than anything else. Come on, just two keys would do us. Look at you, two full hits, and you're just on your own journey. It's pissing me off. Damn it, we've made it to the boss, and we are relatively keyless, which is a rather lackluster first chest, I, I, I've got to say. But it is what it is. The Isaac fight. Wow. Bad hit by me there. I'm actually really, really in a bad spot health-wise right now. I'm trying to Midas touch him when I can with Mars, but... Not honestly the best tactic, really. That worked out, though. Quite a lot of extra time to fight him here. In fact, is it enough? It is enough. Nice. Look at a spare unlocked. Lovely to see that. Right, we're going to have to find some extra keys here, but it is what it is. I had keys that I could have grabbed on other floors. That's pretty good for this floor. 
a little lucky, not so much. There you go, you see? Paid off already. And again, it paid off. You're sat in the creep, how are you not dead? Okay, they all managed to die. Gish isn't really getting a chance to do much, I like that. Unable to fire right now because my fire rate's lower than I keep expecting. Oh, dude, he jumped right on top of me. I, mean, I get that that's literally what he does, but could he just have not? Could he have chosen the non-violent path today? Really? I use my book in a room where I can just get out for free. Gotta love that. Accidental whiff. Oh lord. This room... Oh god, this room is not my cup of tea. I'm probably gonna die here. Which... Slightly short-lived run, I've got to admit. I don't even know where the last enemies are here. That's a lot of fun. Really, I used it again in a room that I have no need to use it in. I'll keep doing this. Holy shit, these guys teleport. Do not like that. Sadly not what we're looking for, although I will say Come on, not a single soul heart here. Wow, that's upsetting. That leaves us in still a very rough spot. Hoping for something a little better there, but... Did not get so lucky. I like that. Walk straight into that button. Whoopsie. Okay, we have a key. This could be the saviour of our run. Parasitoid is really, really good. Would not call it the saviour of the run, but really, really good. Oh my god, that's a lot of flies. That is an astronomical amount of flies and spiders per shot. That's actually insane. Oh, there's a button in here as well. God damn it. We didn't even have to do this room. Holy darn. Holy hot damn. Oh, that's not good. Knockback for us. Yeah, that's something we can't take either. There's our last key. Can this be our hero baby? Can it wipe away the tears? Let's find out. This last chest could be... Could be our knight in shining armor. We shall find out. It's spectral, at least. Spectral tears are nice. Right. On our way to Blue Baby, who has been changed, by the way. So, I'm not going to know what Blue Baby's about to do. Blue Baby is a new fight now. Getting a lot of health, but no soul hearts or anything. This could be good. Pop it. It's plus three keys. A little bit late, but there it is. Right. Do we gamble on a fight with Blue Baby with no healing, no hearts, no nothing? I guess so. It's, this is going to be super risky because I literally do not know what this guy's about to throw at me. He's entering a second phase, which is 
strange to me. I'm hoping the the ocular rifts keep him at bay. A third phase. And completely unknowing to all of these new phases. It seems that we did it. <laughs> it, all, it all worked out in the end somehow. Scorched Earth unlocked. Nice. And there you go. Wow. Not expected, but a win nonetheless. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.